Hello folks and welcome back once again to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 by Sweden. Uh, last time we got uh, things rolling and I explained my uh, basic strategy as to how I was going to uh, break free from uh, uh, from being a Danish uh, vassal basically. That's <laughs> roughly what a personal union means in this game's terms. I mean. Uh, you are diplomatically handicapped and uh, you just have to do whatever your uh, personal union do does. Uh, we need to join his wars, we don't need to fight in them if we don't want to, I mean we can just uh, back our units off and so on, but uh, yeah. Apparently the cardinals switch allegiance quite often. So we have got a uh, couple of uh, early characters building, a few galleys, and uh, improving relations with both Novgorod and uh, uh, England. Uh, now the reason why I'm doing the improved relations with England is that England has a bitch in navy. And as soon as we break free from Denmark, we can start doing uh, diplomatic stuff on our own, as soon as we declare war. So if at that point we have high enough relations we just might get an alliance with England if we are damn lucky and uh, ooh, just got an achievement apparently you get that from uh, building a fleet that's uh, up to your force limit exactly I think could be yeah we are already over our force limit um, being over it costs us 0.05 a month, so that's not such a big a deal, but if we went way over it, then it suddenly becomes a big deal. Uh, but yeah, if um, if we uh, deploy England up, uh, if they set rivals and we set the same rivals, we get an uh, enemy of enemy bonus of 50 points to our relations. And I'm kind of hoping that at that point it would counter whatever negatives uh, come from uh, trying to uh, call uh, or trying to ally someone uh, who is uh, al already at war. So uh, of course they wouldn't like to join join in on uh, on our side when we already declared war, or war in Denmark. But if we get our relations up high enough, it just might happen. I'm just checking out these provinces. But we have uh, War of Roses. Okay. Fair enough. So, current wars against Scotland and against France. Okay, the English are getting their bots handed to them by the French. Which isn't really all that surprising. These two provinces and these two provinces aren't really something that England is capable of holding early on. Just not going to happen. French is too powerful and the AI isn't really good at ferrying troops over where they're needed. Oh. The doctrine of particular judgment. When we die, God judges immediately and decides soul's fate until it awaits the last judgment. A monk has started uh, a doctrinal uh, dispute that verges on the edge of heresy, when he claimed that there was no purgatory and saying prayers for the dead would not assist the, uh, their passage into heaven. These disputes are threatening the very unity of our church. Uh, let's go with getting us some papal influence and reform desire. I don't, I'm not really fast about that. Hey, we bumped Novgorod up to 100. And they have set us up as rival. <laughs> Ooh, however, we can set Denmark up as our rival. That'll bump our uh, opinion on each other. You cannot set your overlord as a rival. Well, crap. Can we visit Norway? 
Yeah, we can. And we don't really need to worry about Norway at all. I mean, uh, that sounds harsh, but like honestly, they aren't that tough. Once we beat them down once, they will stay down for the rest of the game. <laughs> Tensions along Lapland border. Novgorod case a claim on Lapland. Yeah, thanks for that. Borders are organic things, changing and mutating with the seasons, and with the fortunes of the latest conqueror passing by. Historians will perhaps say that the events transpired in Lapland in the year of our Lord 1447 were inevitable. As Lapland continued to flourish under the benevol benevolent rule of Sweden, the Yokels on the other side of the border were bound to get jealous. <laughs> Perhaps they will be less fair to us. Either way, attention to Slapland have given an arrival neighbor a call to spell I. Yeah. That sucks. Because that um, lowers our relations even further. But we do have a free diplomat now. Why should we uh, go with them? Uh, what are your. Poland is your rival. I was trying to think of anyone who could uh, help us in the seas. Does Pomerania have a fleet of any kind? Doo -doo -doo. Uh, ten ships. Uh, four galleys, two light ships. Uh, not that much. Uh, I don't think Livonian Order had anything. Um, yeah, five. Teutons. Ooh, you actually have a decent ish navy. Huh. Who are your. Oh, you arrival in Denmark. That is awesome. We are definitely going to try to ally with you if, uh, if we manage to pull that off. And these Danish pretender rebels that have been holding uh, Gotland, or Gotland, since the beginning of the game. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. Oh, Papal States is influencing this one? Norway is the current control of the Curia. What on earth? Okay. Fair enough. Ah, but here are our uh, boats. Our couple of uh, early carracks. How much that does that cost us? 0.33. Yeah, it it gets uh, uh, the cost get higher really really darn quick. Okay, I think we are closing in on uh, on the moment when we need to start declaring war. Uh, let's actually try to overwhelm them with even more boats. As soon as those three galleys are done, I am going to Go ahead and pull the trigger on this. What? Danish conquest of Danzig? Really? Ah, uh, was that a pop up and I just missed it? Bloody hell. And it's against. Teutons, amongst other folks. Teutons and the Livonian Order. <sighs> I don't really want to fight either of you, but if you could punch Denmark's nose for me, that that would be swell. I wouldn't mind that at all. Let's see what's... Uh, Solidify papal relations. Gain some prestige. Uh, 
and people become table controller. Yeah, let's uh, try to suck up to the Pope. Why not? Probably not going to happen, to be quite honest. But you never know. We might get a random event or something that will give us some more relations with them. Okay, and here we go. This is our Grand Navy as it stands right now. Two heavy carracks and ten galleys. And here's the tricky bit. A vassal or a lesser partner of Union cannot sign a peace treaty. So we are completely and utterly at Denmark's mercy in this. If they don't feel like we deserve to get peace, we don't get peace with these guys. I'm really, really hoping that these uh, uh, Teutons and Livonians uh, give uh, the Danish Navy a good one too, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. They are just blockading the crap out of them. Uh, which is less than optimal, to say the least. No, no, no. Let's uh, group up our dudes into one big, no big army. Here we go. At our force limit with uh, with troops. Now, this is actually a surprisingly good turn of events. You are actually sieging my provinces. Oh god damn it. <sighs> Just when I said this is a good turn of events. Bloody hell. Well at least I can safely group up my navy over here because uh, all their ships are locked in place. Okay he left. Uh, what I was going to say is uh, if uh, they t took their troops like uh, over here they'd end up fighting the Danish army which wouldn't be bad for me at all in the least to be fair I'll uh, actually take this moment to start patrolling again with these guys just because they are no longer under any threat. <sighs> That's way too many boats. And yeah, it's just sieging my stuff down. Damn you! Yeah, and Norway's just hanging about over there, not mining at all. I don't even know where Denmark's troops are. There's 4,000 dudes over here. I wonder if I can... If I declare on them right this moment... Uh, would I be able to peace out of this war? Or would I just automatically leave this war? That's an interesting question. I have no idea. But I'd rather not let the... Uh, uh, Teutons and the Livonians uh, win this one, because that'd suck. That'd suck, like, enormously. Let's actually give this a go. Okay, I'm going to fund my army and fund my navy to four. Okay, no, no way is leaving. Leaving that place. Holland. And uh, let's group those guys up. I need all my boats. And they have equal numbers over here, but they ha don't have a single heavy ship. Really hoping that'll uh, work out in my favor. Let's get 
you guys over here. Way. This is this is awesome. Uh, Denmark, Norway, and Holstein all consolidated their guys, and I'm really hoping that they're going to go try and uh, kick the crap out of the two towns over here. I'm just not going to bother. They are going to win this. There's just no question about it. And uh, if I'm really lucky, they'll uh, expand a lot of their forces just due to attrition and uh, yeah just warring with the uh, Teutons looks like I'm in no rush okay and we finished improving relations with England that is good I only have rivals uh, as France and holy hell all these people hate England <laughs> That is bad. <laughs> but yeah, this this is this is perfect. This would have been even more perfect if the uh, two towns had more troops than this. If if they could have uh, presented a more uh, serious threat to to the Danes. Anything that uh, makes them. Uh, these guys use up manpower. It's just fine by me. However, right now, because they are uh, these troops are in my lands, I cannot cannot declare war on them because my tactic of um, forcing them to stay in uh, Danish lands is uh, is kind of moot. <laughs> Doesn't work. Okay. Okay. Cornwall again. I'm just keeping uh, all the points on that one guy. Uh, I don't know if that's the smartest strategy or not, but that's what I'm going with. What about the Hansa? Do the Hansa hate Danish? Yes, they do. Let's go improve relations with Hansa, because they have a navy as well. And they border Holstein, so and uh, Holstein is Den Denmark's uh, vassal proper, so not just in a personal union, but like really a vassal. Always building up quite many troops. I'm surprised. I may need to go over my force limits with uh, regards to. And armies as well. Let's actually save up on unit maintenance again. And um, since this is taking such a long time, I'm going to go a little bit nuts with this and build two more heavy ships. I'm just kind of hoping that they don't piece out the two tons like soon, and uh, this war will continue to cost them uh, in manpower, and uh, hopefully it'll push up their war exhaustion as well. That that'll be kind of useful. Yeah, their war enthusiasm is uh, way way high. War exhaustion is only two. Because yeah, the higher the war exhaustion, the more they they're bound to get uh, rebellions, and uh, the more their uh, citizens want peace. So as long as they have a high war exhaustion, uh, these guys will uh, hopefully peace out sooner, if and when I declare on them and try to get my independence. I'm really uh, <laughs> appreciative of them uh, sieging uh, this province back down again as well. What I really want to see is them going down, getting a uh, access rise from Novgorod. 
Hey, they are giving access to Norway. And uh, the, the Teutons, yeah, that's the, why, the reason why Teutons were able to cross this. But if Norway and Holstein want to come over here and just uh, sac sacrifice their uh, armies to the Livonians and the Teutons, Teutons are already building up their army back again and uh, the Livonians haven't lost anything in this war yet. They don't have that much, but still, like, a 10 stack is... well, not plenty, but enough to beat Holstein and uh, enough to tangle with Norway in equal ground. Oh, hell. Losing stability for the win. Well, at least this gives me 10 years of uh, cheaper tech. So if I'm lucky, I may be able to get to... Um, uh, plus one um, military tech, so that would give me better units. Uh, da -da -da -da. Lowers my legitimacy, interest per annum, revolt risk, tiny bit less trade power. The only thing, uh, honestly, I care about at this point is the legitimacy. So let's just leave it at that for the time being. Ooh, and the Novgorod is, are getting their faces punched by the uh, Muscovites. I really hope that I'm not going to be bordering Muscovy. They are scary. They are scary and big. We can uh, spend again on the Cardinal. And the Pope is <laughs> getting that one, so... Yeah, might be that we just... Uh, Never going to tangle with the control of the papacy. Okay, I think this is a good place to end this episode. So, uh, join us again next time when we hopefully get to a po position where we can declare on, uh, on Denmark and get our freedom. See you then. Bye for now. <laughs>